Hello and welcome back. On this tutorial, I'd like to show you a new piece of software, a new application called DIA. I figured since it's been some time since I've showed the whole process of plugging in your Liberty key, finding where it is on your USB drive, I figured I just would go ahead and do that now. So I'm starting with my USB drive out. Now I'm going to plug it in. open folder to view files so these are the two things that are on my flash drive you want to find the where it says Liberty application double click on that and there you go there's your Liberty so the tutorial right before this one I explained how to install Dia and Inkscape, which we will be using for our advanced tutorials. And so DIA should be on your Liberty key. DIA is found under Office and under Diagram Editor. Go ahead and double click DIA. And there you go. DIA will open in two windows. This window over here, you can go ahead and you can change the size of it if you wish. Um, you can also change the size of this window, whichever, however you would like. I like to kind of go with that kind of setup. You can see both. It gives you a nice space to work on. So let me show you real quick. Again, this model is located there on the Liberty course, but this is what we are going for. Okay, this is an example of a seating chart that I created earlier with DIA. And this is what I am going to show you how to create right now. So DIA is a diagramming software. You can you can make full-blown school diagrams, networking diagrams. And since we're just doing a, a class, really this box is useful for creating where the desks are. So you just kind of grab it, drag it, and drop, and then you can create however big you want your desks to be. If you want to grab it, you just go ahead and up here and you left click on the arrow and then you can grab and, and move it around. So instead of trying to make the same size box over and over again, which might be difficult, what you can do is you can go ahead and left click on it. You can see the green boxes so it's all nice and selected. And then you can, using your keyboard, hold down Control and click the letter C. Now you have copied that box. To, so to paste that box, you click Control V. And you can do that as many times as you need to create your desk for whatever type of room setup you have. And then you can just use the little selector tool and move those around. So if you wanted to create some more, select Make sure the green boxes are around it. Hold down the control key and press letter C. Hold down control, press letter V, and there you go.
So there you go. We have 12 deaths. So say you have a pretty traditional setup with your deaths in a row. You can go ahead and move them around into four rows. three something like that will work again you have a pretty traditional setup maybe you want to show where your chalkboard is so you can just take that little box and put that there take another box you just select on one of these green boxes and you can so you could use this as your teacher desk or you can see here on this down arrow this will show you different sheets, they call them, of little icons, little pictures. So depending on what you are trying to show, these sheets will give you some options. So say you wanted to be fancy, you could go to Cisco Miscellaneous Sheet. And how would you get there? You go to other sheets, Cisco miscellaneous. And when you click on it one time, then it puts it on this permanent list. So under Cisco miscellaneous, say you want to use this androgynous person as your desk instead, just to be a little fancy. So go ahead and select that boring desk and say that here you are. And let's try to show where our door is. And as you can see on my example, the way I did that is I just used a line showing that it was my door opening. So there's your line. You can just grab the green boxes and make it however large you want. So there you go. Okay. So there's our basic general setup. Now, say you really wanted to use this seating chart and you wanted to put it into your substitute folder for when you miss a day of school when you have a substitute coming in. You would want to add some text to this chart. So that's this button here where it says text. Go ahead and left click on that. Come over to your box. And so you say student number one. And then click off of it. And then if you want to select that text to move it, make sure you select your arrow. And then you can go ahead and move it. Now, say you want your text to be either larger or smaller. All you need to do is go to where your text is, double click, and then you see here font size. You can change the type of font it is, how it is aligned, the font size, the color of it. So, say you want it to be a little bit larger. You can go with 30, enter, apply, and you can see what that looks like. Or if you want to go back to how big it was, 22, enter, apply, there you go. I'm going to go ahead with 23. See how that looks. Okay, perfect. Okay, click OK. All right, now I want to add text to the next box. I click the text, go ahead, 
Just click right there, student number two. Click off of it, click my arrow, and then I can move it. Left double click, change the size to be 23, enter, apply, OK. So now everything is looking very similar. So you can just continue to do that and add in all of your specific names into your desk. Then also, you want to go ahead and put a note by your, your desk and just say, Mr. Baird's desk. Click off of it. Make sure the area is selected. You can go ahead and move it over. Okay, you want to make a note that this is your chalkboard or whiteboard, whatever you may have. There you go. You want to make a note that this is your board. Click off, make sure that arrow is selected, and then you can move it to wherever you would like. So, there you go. There's the basics of how to create a nice seating chart using DIA. Don't be afraid to take a look at these other sheets to find maybe some other useful tools. One of the other things that you may have noted on my example was that I used a projector picture and actually that projector picture you can see is right here and it's actually a video camera but I thought it looked pretty similar to a projector and so if you have a projector in your room you can go ahead and and use one of these video cameras maybe as as an option and then the other thing that I created was a little media cart all I did for that was I took a box created a nice little box and then can take these little ellipses and make them into wheels. And if you want to look at any particular part of your picture a little bit larger, you can change the zoom down here in the left hand corner like I just did and then you can get the sizing of your of your wheels to be a little bit closer to what it should be and you see it might be difficult to get that wheel exactly the same as that one so delete that effort select that original ellipse Hold down control, click C, hold down control, click V, and there you go. I made the same exact size ellipse. So this could be your little media cart, and then whichever way your projector is, is facing, you can take your projector out there, size it, and put it on your media cart. So there you go. All right, so you can create a media cart that way. And if you want to delete anything, just select it, make sure it's green, and go ahead and click delete on your keyboard. So there you go. There are some options for you to use to play with with DIA to create a nice seating chart and a room diagram. Go ahead and explore. Thank you. We'll see you next time.